Celebrity attorney Michael Avenatti tells CBS News he is nervous and scared about the possibility of going to prison, but denies he did anything wrong. Avenatti is charged in New York with attempting to extort tens of millions of dollars from Nike. He is also charged with bank and wire fraud in California. Jerika Duncan spoke with him in an interview you will see only on CBS This Morning. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. He wanted to get his side out. Now, if convicted both cases, in both cases, Michael Avenatti could face up to nearly 100 years in prison. So we sat down with him less than a day after he was released on $300,000 bond. He maintains his innocence and told us he believes he'll be exonerated. Prosecutors are saying that you committed extortion, that you committed wire fraud and bank fraud in California. Did you try to extort Nike for millions of dollars? No, and any suggestion is absolutely absurd. Nike knew from the very first moment that I had any contact with Nike that I was insisting that the truth about what Nike had done be disclosed to federal prosecutors and investigators. What is the truth? The truth is, for years, Nike and its executives have been funneling payments to amateur players, high school players, and to their handlers and family members in an effort to get them to go to colleges that were Nike colleges and ultimately, hopefully, to the NBA so they could sign a shoe deal with Nike. But federal prosecutors maintain a different version of the truth. Avenatti was not acting as an attorney. A suit and tie doesn't mask the fact that, at its core, this was an old-fashioned shakedown. They allege Michael Avenatti attempted to use his platform to blackmail the apparel giant. The complaint does suggest that you asked for up to $20 million, $1.5 for your client, uh, and at least $20 million, and that you requested you be retained to do an internal investigation, and that if not you and they hired someone else, you stand to make more money. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not going to get into the specifics of this, but what I will say is the way this has been framed is not accurate. It's just not accurate. And in fact, from the very first moment that we had any meeting with Nike, we made it clear that under no circumstances would we participate in anything that did not require full disclosure to investigators and the federal government. What about the case in California? You've been charged with wire fraud, bank fraud. There were comments, you know, in that complaint saying that you tried to embezzle or you did embezzle $1.6 million from a client you represented. The client who is accusing me of embezzlement is currently on felony probation in California. You know what he was convicted of? Multiple counts of obtaining money under false pretenses. It turns out, and I didn't know this at the time, that he has an extensive criminal background and rap sheet associated with his conduct. So again, nowhere does that appear in the complaint. So there's going to be a lot of evidence. There's going to be a lot of facts that are come, going to come to light. You're facing, if convicted on all of these charges, up to the rest of your life in prison. Are you nervous? Well, of course I'm nervous. Are, I mean, you, are you scared? Are you concerned? I mean, tell us, I guess, as someone who, again, has a history of representing people and now you're on the other side, facing some serious charges. Um, I am nervous. I'm concerned. I'm scared. But you also seem confident. I am confident because I believe the facts are on my side. In a statement, Nike tells CBS News when it became aware of Avenatti's, quote, plans to extort the company, it immediately reported it along with information he shared to federal prosecutors. Nike says it has been cooperating with the government's investigation into NCAA basketball for over a year and encourages Avenatti to share any information he believes he has with the government. In a statement, the NCAA said it will, quote, always welcome and first any firsthand credible, lawfully obtained and disclosed information of NCAA rules and violations.
It's interesting when Ricky Kleeman was here yesterday, she said it was uh, the charges for out of California yeah. potentially be the most serious for him to face. Exactly. And for him to, battle we're for talking him. up to 100 years yeah. in prison. So I think just his connections to other stories that we've covered and now he's on the other side is what makes this so fascinating. A lot of twists this morning. It seems Friday. pretty defiant still, Jerika. Confident as, as he as you could see, Although and he was, had an answer for everything. He did, he did, did. but the prosecutors also have documents for everything. They have documents, phone video recording, yeah. audio recording. So yeah. we will continue yeah. to follow this. Absolutely, thanks, thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Tarika.